Hey guys, so this is a, li a little bit of a different video than the kind of content I, I usually make and uh, I'm not, not too sure how it's going to go, so um, <laughs> hopefully it all goes okay. I'm a little nervous, but uh, you know, I'm just going to jump in and, uh, and talk about a few things because I know I haven't been posting much and uh, I think it's about time that I gave a proper explanation for that. So... It seems like for, what, th the three years that I've been on YouTube now, I always seem to get burnout and exhaustion around this time of year. The end of summer is particularly hard for me, and I kind of just noticed that correlation. And I think, looking at that, I think I may be experiencing a type of seasonal depression. So depression isn't really a thing I've ever talked about on this channel, and it's something that I'm by no means an expert in. It's something that I know happens, and I know it affects me in certain ways. It is something I struggle with, but, you know, it might be different for anyone else who struggles with it. And, um, and my experience may not be the same as yours, but, you know, it's something I want to talk about because I think it's a lot more widespread than most people realize. And I have a feeling a lot of people think that uh, they're suffering alone. I know I sure did. So, you know, this is kind of a thing that I've known I've had it for a while. It's, it's nothing new for me. Usually it's easier to kind of just push through and go on. But I've noticed that I tend to have a harder time with things at the end of the summer. And I think part of that is in combination with the weather and the fact that several of my friends are heading off to school and after hanging out with them for the summer, I start really missing them. And I mean, I have talked about, <laughs> I, I joke about California from time to time, but you guys, it gets hot here and it is exhausting. Um, I don't hold up well under hot temperatures and uh, I start, honestly, I get physically sick a lot of the time. I get headaches from just the sheer heat and so, I think the combination of that and being a little bit lonely and especially this summer we had a big burst of videos because of Wolf Quest, it kind of just all combined and came down on me pretty hard and I've been having a hard time having the ability to focus long enough to make a video and feeling happy with the content I'm putting out because I feel like I'm lethargic, I feel like I'm not... I feel like I'm not able to put my best foot forward at this point in time. So, you know, I, I'm, well, I, <laughs> I won't go so far as to say I'm okay. It, it's, it's been a rough couple of weeks. I'm not, not gonna lie there, but, um, you know, I will be okay. It's not something that's new to me. It's something that does pass. I've, I've come to learn that, you know, life, life tends to go in seasons and some of those seasons may be easier to face than others. And some of them might be a lot harder. So, I do want to start getting back to um, to making videos again. Uh, we have a couple big releases coming up soon too, and I want to try to hit those. Planet Zoo is going to be coming out pretty soon, I believe. Um, Pine is going to be coming out pretty soon. There, there's a couple of big games that are going to be coming out, and I do want to continue to, um, to continue to be making videos for the series that we've started as well, like Wolf Quest and Shelter 2. I do want to get back to that, but I also have recognized over time that if I push myself before I'm ready, then oftentimes that just leads to worse burnout. And so I, I feel bad because I've kept tossing out estimates and that day comes and I'm just as tired as ever. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely been a longer journey than I would have liked it to be. And unfortunately, you know, it's one of those things that I don't have a lot of control over. I mean, I can do what I can to try and help keep my mood up. I can make sure I'm planning regular breaks so that I, I'm not pushing myself too hard. For future years, I can cut back on the number of videos if I know I'm going to be going through a period of stress. But unfortunately, I mean, I can't change the weather. I can't change the fact that my friends all go off to school. And so there's a lot of factors in this that I can't control. And I think that's part of what makes it so difficult is that there's not always a lot that I can do. I, I can kind of do some to, to help make things a little bit better, but I really can't necessarily stop it. And that's, you know, sometimes that is how it is. And, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say here is we all have hard times in our life and y'all have times when we really struggle. A lot of us probably will be depressed at one point or another, or if not depression, there's a lot of, a lot of other struggles that we can go through. And, you know, the biggest thing I want to say in this is 
you know, you guys aren't alone. There's a lot of, a lot of people who, who go through the same things and or similar things. We all struggle in various ways. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a great emote. Um, but, you know, we all have our struggles. We all have our times when we're not feeling our best. We all have times when we're not okay. And, and that's okay. I mean, we don't always have to be okay, if that makes sense. Sometimes it's all right to acknowledge that, yeah, things are kind of crummy right now, and yeah, I'm not feeling my best, and yeah, sometimes it just takes all the energy I have to get through the day, and that's something that I don't feel our society really accounts for in many ways either. Sometimes it's, it's okay to take a break, and I, I feel like that's something we've lost, that there's this drive to constantly be going, constantly be moving forward, and... With that, it's so easy to get caught up in it all and to just wind up exhausted. I mean, we talk about burnout a lot in terms of creatives and, you know, the kind of thing I do making these YouTube videos, and that is a very real thing. I've experienced it. It's a lot of what I've been experiencing right now. But burnout can occur in a lot of forms, and it's not just... Like, it's not just for creative content creators or or any any of that it can happen to anyone and it can happen for a variety of things you can burn out on a job you can burn out on school and of course those are more difficult things because a lot of the time there's something that you're not able to just take a break from and that that's when it does get hard when they're when you're not able to just fully step back and heal you kind of have to find a way to press on through it nonetheless and that is difficult. It is a struggle. And it's something that I'm still learning, too. And <laughs> something I, I don't have totally figured out yet. And honestly, maybe never will. It's it's one of those things where it's just, it's complicated. And life is complicated. And it's it's not as simple as we'd like it to be, for sure. So... I guess in summary, what I what I'm trying to say here is, you know, it's it's been tough, but I'm gonna get through it. I've made it through in the past. I'll make it through this time. Eventually, the weather has to change, and eventually, the loneliness will get a little bit less as I kind of adjust to everything. It's just been a particularly difficult time for me right now, and uh, it hasn't been the easiest for me to keep up with the more creative side of things, especially when it comes to YouTube videos. They've just been really draining for me lately, and I haven't felt like I can really do my best at making them when I'm feeling this way. And I, I want to be able to give you guys content that's going to be quality and meaningful, and not just me being tired and barely, <laughs> barely able to function. So I kind of pulled back on that a little bit here, and um, kind of wanted to wait a bit and give myself a little more time to recover both for my sake and for yours. And so I guess my encouragement to you guys in this is that, you know, seasons pass. It, it's not always going to be, it's not always going to be as difficult as it is right now in, in many cases. Things get better over time and uh, it's not, it, it, things seldom stay the same for long periods of time. So even if it's difficult at the moment, Oftentimes that season will pass and uh, things will get better. So, you know, I'm kind of <laughs> waiting for my season to pass. I'm hoping that it's it's most of the way done now. It seems like it's kind of run its course. The temperatures are finally starting to drop. And as time goes on, things will get easier. Uh, just as a whole, as I kind of readjust to not having a, all of my friends around. And to have, having some of them who are a little bit far away. Um, and you know, again, just, it's okay to not be okay. Nobody's okay 100% of the time. We all struggle. And it's important to remember that in our interactions with each other because you never know what someone might be going through. Um, I think I'm gonna, gonna kind of end this off here. I, I didn't really, you know, I don't... <laughs> I didn't script this or anything. I didn't, didn't didn't set out with a specific set of things to say. So I apologize if it's a little bit rambly, but, um... I just kind of wanted you guys to know what's going on and felt like time that I actually talk about this because, you know, I think another thing is content creators kind of, it's not quite acting, but in a way it kind of is. Like, we're always putting our best foot forward. You, you see the days when we're doing well and you don't always see the struggles that go on behind the scenes. And so it can be easy to go, wow, these people are so positive. How, how do they do that all the time? How are they always so happy? And 
the truth is, a lot of us aren't. I mean, not that I'm not happy, but you know, I we all have our we all have our hard days as well, and it's just because we're out here in the public spectrum doesn't mean that we never struggle and that things are are hard for us. We all have a we all have our own difficulties and uh you know, we're we're still human even if we're even if we're kind of up on a stage. So, it doesn't always necessarily show through, but you know, we are still human and we all still struggle. So <laughs> don't, don't get discouraged and think we're some sort of superhuman. We're, we're not, we, we're, we're, we're just, we're just, we're like you guys. We're no different from anyone else. Uh, we just happen to be out in public more. We're kind of out, out on a stage a bit more. So in summary, I guess, you know, I haven't been okay. I'm still not really okay at the moment. I'm still dealing with stuff and still trying to deal with this this weight and this sadness and I guess in a way grief <laughs> uh, over over change but I will be okay and uh, I'm gonna try to come back slowly I do want to be back in action before I end up uh, taking a short trip later this month and I'm hoping that'll be possible um, I really want to try my best to at least get some content out for you guys but I don't know how much it'll be uh, that said, I am looking forward to, to some of the new games like Planet Zoo and uh, and Pine, some of these new ones that are going to be coming out. So I am excited for that, and hopefully having some, some new adventures to explore will kind of help with that as well. Um, I don't really know how soon videos will be starting up again, but um, hopefully they it won't be too much longer in coming. Uh, in the meantime, if you do want to see something I did a little bit more recently, I actually did a collaboration with B on her channel. You might know her from IOCraft and Wolf Quest the Elements pack, and uh, some of the things we've done together. And we actually did a, an episode of Meadow where we kind of just chatted, talked about things. We talked about social anxiety, so that's <laughs> that's another thing that uh, um, that we talked about that that I kind of have been a little bit more out in the open with that, so if you want to watch that, uh, you certainly are welcome to. I'll include a link at the end of the video, and you guys can go over to that if, you, if you'd if you like to see that. Otherwise, I'll, I'll be okay. <laughs> I'll get back to a better place, and hopefully we'll have videos before too much longer. I, I do apologize for kind of putting that off and um, for not really explaining myself too well, but hopefully you guys can kind of understand a little bit uh, of what's what's been happening and why why I haven't been very active on YouTube mo uh, recently here. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, kind of a different video. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. Uh, and hopefully I explained myself well. That's one of my fears. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for your understanding and your patience. You guys have been nothing but supportive in the, uh, in the posts that I put up, and I truly have appreciated that. It It's... It, it, it gives me a lot of encouragement to see that you guys have been so understanding when I have alluded to some of the things that have been going on in my life. And, uh, you know, I, I really do feel blessed to have such an amazing community that's not just pressuring me to endlessly put out content, but that's really understanding when stuff comes up and I can't. So uh, thank you guys for that. I really do appreciate it. And uh, it really does help to have your support. But I'm going to go ahead and end this off here for today. You'll find a link to B's episode in the uh, end card here. And I will see you guys hopefully very, very soon. But until next time, this is Jay, over and out.